Camp Adventures. Good morning. Welcome back to Gimp Adventures. So today I get to go and interview for an apartment. Yeah, not really sure what this appointment is even for. You know, if it's for the. Yeah, she called for me way back in January. Yeah, January. And, uh, I think it was January. Anyway, uh, she called for me because of that time I had a cold and, or no, it wasn't January, it was before that. Yeah, it was in November. I, what, yeah, whatever it was, she called for me because I had a cold and I had no voice. So she called for me to get an application for this place and they said, oh, well, we don't do that. Uh, you can make an appointment for, you know, an interview for getting into this place. And so she did that. We set that up. And then, uh, yeah, the earliest appointment was in March here, today. And so got the application last night. Last night. Yeah. They said, oh, print it off, you know, online and... You know, yeah, never got done, and Mel was looking for it yesterday, and everything she clicked on kept bringing her to a flyer for the apartment building and not the actual application. Then we called like nine times. Yeah, then she called, proceeded to call again and again and again and again while I was on my way out here, not getting anywhere. And then when we went and dinked around at Sears and in the mall, uh... He called again and actually got a hold of somebody and this lady was having issues pulling it up and so she emailed me the app and I printed it off and filled it out last night and so I got that and all the other crap that I have to bring to it and we drove by the place and it looked beautiful I really hope I get in there who knows if I'll get lucky or not and get in there but uh we think it's for other buildings. Huh? We think it might be for other buildings, too. Okay. Apparently, we think that this is for other buildings as well, which would be good. We'll ask about it in the interview, and we're going to pray that we're going to the right place for this interview. If not, we're kind of screwed. Well, they can tell us. Uh, maybe. We, we hope. We get there earlier. Okay. Leave in like 15 minutes then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like 11 o'clock right now. Appointment's at noon. We're going to leave at 11.30. Then I guess we're going to leave earlier than that. And, yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm working on my... Um... Stuff? Yeah, I'm working on my stuff. Okay. And I got my house wrap and my senator wanting to help me. And they nominated for the Independent Living Board next Wednesday. I have like a 96% chance of getting on. I have the Director of Independent Living uh, suggesting I write the state deed. And that's a system I don't understand yet. I'm busy. Bye, Jeff. That Let's she go. is. Yeah, she got a lot of crap. Yeah, other than that, uh, yeah, we come back here and get all the rest of my crap, and I'm probably going to head out at like 3.30. Oh, okay. Well, I got, um, I'm heading after, when I leave here, I'm heading straight to Rochester to pick up a friend of mine, Molly. Uh, who I'm going to take back to Marsha with me because she's friends with Liz and she's going to spend uh, a few days with Liz so I'm going to haul her out there and Liz is going to bring her back and so I'm going to pick her up and she's going to spend the night at my parents 
place in the spare bedroom so that I don't have to pick her up you know early in the morning tomorrow so that'll be fun driving straight from here out to pick her up so got a lot of things going on today so like always things have to get complicated uh, we went to the building that I'm applying for, Ornez Plaza, and then we get there and we're thinking, don't know if this is where the meeting is supposed to be at. Turns out, it was right. So we called and we had to come to, basic, this is City Hall basically. Uh, so we had to come here and apply to be on this. Uh, it's, just, it's just a waiting list, just for one place. Yeah, to be on the waiting list. We had to make an appointment and be interviewed and sign my life away for one place. Yeah. But then this place is being newly remodeled, and they'll have, like, either 33 or 38... Somewhere in the 30s. Yeah. Uh, units opening. In the next week. Yeah once they're done remodeling. So I'll be put on the list. There's like 50 people on the list, but I'll get priority. Some priority being that I'm disabled, but not super high priority because I'm not local. But Therefore they gotta get all the homeless people first. Yep. So I won't, I won't be number one, but I won't be number 50. So we'll hope that I'm somewhere in the mid to low 30s. And I could possibly be moving in in a month or two. List other places. We're gonna go look at one. He's already on the list for three places now in the town. And we're gonna go figure out these other ones. Yeah, we're gonna go look at one because it's gonna start raining any second. And I'm not getting in and out to get, you know, 15 to 20 applications to different places. I just, no, I won't be happy. So, we'll go look at one, Al, and then we're going to go to Pier 1 and look at some cool cheap wood puzzles, and I have something in my eye that's driving me nuts. Alright, so now and I are here at uh, Pier 1, and I came across this, I just had to show it. bird feeder, but uh, that looks a tad bit suggestive. Suggestive bird feeder is suggestive. That's just great. I'm waiting for to show it to Mel, and Mel's being Mel, and she's over talking with people who work here about, I don't know what, God only knows. So, whenever she gets over here, I'll show it to her. I found uh, something else rather interesting here at Pier 1. It's a duster. And I found something he could buy that would make it worth him buying the duster. Because cause then he, he has a duster and then you can have the beads. What are those? Incense. Oh, brother. I haven't burned incense in a long time. Well, here you go. Go do it. I don't know what scent it is. It didn't really look. Yeah. The, the duster was 15 no, $12. It's now 3 So... Uh, I, I think I'm, I'm being forced to buy this duster. And I'm trying to get a ca I'm, I'm in the process of redecorating my entire apartment. So I'm getting a new couch. Why did you just do that? I don't know what that means. Sad. Alright, so I'm on my way back home from Mankato. And, uh... It's raining to be hell, and it's not so bad right now, but it's been pretty bad. Pretty intense rain. Uh, I just had to come on and say that there's a guy on the four lane here on a motorcycle. Oh my god. Seriously, there, it was raining so hard at one point, I actually pulled over and stopped. 
because it's raining so hard. If it's raining that hard that I felt I needed to pull over and stop because I couldn't see and I have windshield wipers, there's no way he can see a damn thing. So it's just, it's insane. And now it's really letting up. It's just light piddling. And it's just like, wow. I, that guy, he's nuts. He must have just been caught unexpected. You know, didn't think that it was going to rain or something. Because I can't imagine that if you were expecting, you know, if it was raining, that you would even attempt to drive anywhere unless you were driving back home. And not nice out. So we made it back to the old farts place with uh... <laughs> you can tell I really love my parents but got a got a new visitor this is Molly say hi to the internet hi internet <laughs> <laughs> so I do this with everybody um, they they know what's wrong with me and everybody else that's been on my vlog what is wrong with you so many things, but I don't even know where to start. What is your disability? Well, my disability, I have um, cerebral palsy. I, I make everybody say that. <laughs> so, and you know, I just thought of something else. <coughs> no. You've been labeled. What is your label? <coughs> As she coughs out a lung. <coughs> She's so taking her evening pills and coughing all over the place. I have diabetic lumbosacral radio plexus neuropathy. I have no idea how to spell that, but I will get it written down so I can put it right there. Good. So, the old lady now has a label of what's wrong with her. So, but... We're tired, it's late, we're going to bed, so good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Camp Adventures, making our way one push at a time.